Hello and law. This is a quick, quick pediatrics, and today we're gonna talk briefly about the signs and symptoms of pseudo herma frodo froditism. Okay, pseudo herma froditism. Right. So regarding this, I'm gonna talk in signs and symptoms of this in a females. And in males okay guys so what's the definition how do you define that is nothing but a normal gonads okay there will be normal gonads and the uterus okay with virilization of external genitalia with virilization of external genitalia especially I'm talking about the females over here and the definition varies in the male that's why okay in a 46 X X carrier type okay normal gonads in the uterus both the gonads are ovaries okay with virilization of external genitalia in a patient with 46 xx karyotype okay so 46 xx and external genitalia remember the external genitalia i'm not able to draw correctly okay so remember virilization of the external genitalia very important whereas in a males what's the definition is anything but 46 xy right normal test is both the testes are normal okay under virilization of external genitalia remember under virilization under virilization of external genitalia okay guys right right excellent so in a females what is the cause is 21 hydroxylase deficiency that is CAH congenital adrenal hyperplasia right got in a, uh, in males what is the cause androgen insensitivity androgen insensitivity androgen insensitivity very important or any enzyme defect in uh, testosterone synthesis okay right excellent sign and symptoms of what the patient will have in a females they will have ambiguous genitalia ambiguous genitalia virilization of external genitalia we talked then they will have a clitoral hypertrophy clitoral hypertrophy okay then they will have a labioscrotal fusion labioscrotal fusion okay very important try to look for this because in USMLE and MRCPCH examination you have to diagnose the disease based on the clinical symptoms either they will give you the disease and ask you about the sign and symptom or either they will give the sign and symptoms and they will ask you the diagnose the disease okay right so what are the three things, four things you see, ambiguous genitalia, virilization of external genitalia, then you see clitoral hypertrophy and a labioscrotal fusion, okay. In males, what do you see, sign and symptoms? Small phallus, small phallus, let me write, let me write here, small phallus, okay, small phallus, then hypospediasis, Hypospedia is a really very important topic for USMLE. Remember, and clinically also. And undescended testis. Undescended testis. Okay. Remember. So it's going to be what you call. You can remember the poo. That's a small phallus. Hypospediasis. And undescended testis. Okay. Okay guys. These are the important uh, signs and symptoms of pseudohermaphroditism. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.